Fitch's Corporate's Recovery Ratings and Instrument Ratings Criteria describes our methodology to derive loan and bond instrument ratings for corporate issuers globally. While the issuer default rating focuses on the relative probability of default for an entity, the overall risk for a particular instrument is comprised of the relative probability of issuer default and the likely recovery given default on that instrument. The instrument rating is therefore a function of an entity's IDR and the instrument level recovery rating. An instrument can be assigned a rating higher, lower, or the same as an issuer default rating depending on its recovery prospects. The framework to assign instrument ratings varies across the rating spectrum, as closer proximity to default provides greater visibility into likely scenarios leading to default and the capital structure at default. Fitch applies a bespoke recovery approach to issuers rated B plus and below. The bespoke recovery approach reflects issuer-specific assumptions about recoveries based on distributable value and creditor mass. Fitch uses one of two approaches to estimate the distributable value. The going concern approach is most frequent and generally relies on estimates of going concern EBITDA and valuation multiple. Alternatively, Fitch may use a liquidation approach if it results in a higher return to creditors. The estimate of creditor claims will include all debt instruments rated and unrated, as well as all other obligations that may be considered during a default proceeding. A waterfall analysis allocates the estimated distributable value to creditors according to the relative seniority of their claims. The computed recovery estimate is mapped to a recovery rating and notching from the issuer rating. The instrument rating is derived from the entity's IDR and the instrument level recovery rating. Fitch divides the spectrum of recovery percentages into six recovery rating bands with notching ranging from plus three to minus three. The key assumptions and conclusions of the bespoke recovery analysis are described in the issuer's rating report. While the issuer's recovery tool is a pre-populated working tool detailing the application of the bespoke recovery approach during our most recent rating action, Fitch applies a generic approach to rate instruments for issuers rated double B minus or above. The process primarily refers to aggregate recoveries in the market as a whole rather than issuer-specific considerations. For issuers rated double B minus and above, the rating assigned to a senior unsecured debt instrument assumes an average recovery in the event of bankruptcy, corresponding to RR4 without notching. Notching is generally restrained to plus two or minus two within the double B category and plus one or minus one in the investment grade category. Notching is driven by instrument type and relative ranking. Regulated utilities and REITs have demonstrated above average recovery prospects. Thus, Fitch applies a one-notch uplift to the debt instrument ratings for issuers in these sectors. Country-specific considerations may be overlaid to constrain the upward notching of instrument ratings to reflect a less predictable range of recovery outcomes in certain jurisdictions. Fitch's criteria assign countries to four groups based on an assessment of each country's governance environment. Each group leads to a different cap on instrument ratings and RRs. For example, instruments from issuers in Italy, part of Group C, can be assigned up to RR3. This video only provides a short overview of Fitch's approach to assigning instrument ratings and recovery ratings. All details of these criteria are available on our website.